And we are live. Indeed, this is Paul Fink, the Maverick Millionaire, and this is Maverick Mondays. And I want to thank all of you for being here, for being a part of this, and for continuing our ongoing discussion of the world, of, of how to live in it, and how to really create a powerful world, a powerful community, and a powerful life for yourself. And it's so much of my messaging is to help you live the life you were meant to live, to help you live the life that you are destined to live, the life you were born on this earth to exist within, to reach up to your fullest potential and to create a magnitude of results for you, for your family, for your community, for your society, for everybody in the world. My belief is when we all step up to our fullest potential, that's when the world becomes the great oyster, the great opportunity, and the great amazing place to live for all of us. This is Paul Fink, the Maverick Millionaire, and we're going to be talking about positive energy and optimism. And boy, is that something we need today. And the power of optimism and what it really does for our life. So many people look at optimism as if it's, uh, oh, you've got blinders on, you've got rose-colored glasses. You, you're not really seeing the world. And optimism, it doesn't mean that ignorance. Optimism isn't it, it just, oh, we don't see. When you're an optimist, it doesn't mean you don't see. It means that you choose to look for the greatness, that you choose to look for the silver lining, that you choose to pick out of the, the view of the world in front of you to highlight the greatness versus highlighting the worst. And in that way, it raises the bar for everyone. I talked about how you can increase sales and, well, the really key is that you can increase everything in your world, everything by being optimistic. That, and this isn't, and for those of you that may be new to working with me, studying me or listening to me, uh, I got to tell you that my information that I share, the information that I bring to the table is all about one, uplifting all of us. Two is that it's based on science. It is based on study. I've been studying psychology. I studied psychology when I was in high school, went to college to be a clinical psychologist and have been studying social psychology, neuro-linguistic programming, hypnotherapy, and all the components of, of how the brain works, how it operates, what really makes us as humans tick. What makes us get motivated and demotivated? How we get inspired to keep moving forward? On the flip side, what causes depression, suicide, drug addiction? What causes all the bad things that happen in our world? And how we can create an armor, if you will, to battle all those possibilities of negativity that come into our world to create a positive place for us to live, which is where the real magnitude of growth comes from. When you're able to be positive, when you're able to create that optimism in your world, everything else gets better. Everything else becomes that much greater in your life. You know, and, and I've read a, a ton on this and, and some of the, the core focus, understand that what you focus on expands. And so when we want positive energy in our life, when we want greatness in our life, when we want to bring in just wonderful things in our world, well, then we would put out wonderful things. We would express wonderful ideas. We would talk about and feed into people their, the greatness of the world versus the opposite. So what we focus on expands. Understanding that, there, that 
when we are positive, it not only eases our mind, and what I mean by that is when, and, and you all know, you're, you're in a negative state. Oh my gosh, your brain is, is firing off 100 miles an hour and usually in random synapses, random thought processes that are just firing so fast that to really organize it and really process it is almost too much for the human condition that when we're in that heightened state, and there's an expression, higher the emotion, lower the intelligence. So imagine you're in this heightened state of, of negative energy. Would that lower your ability to really process and think, and it creates that anxiousness and that stressfulness within us, which again, takes away from logic processing logical processing. And so we talk about how it eases the mind, lowers the stress level when we're optimistic, when we're looking with positive mindset to everything around us. It also becomes an attraction factor. Most people are not attracted to the person screaming and hollering. Most people are not attracted to, and when I say attracted to, not just to watch in amazement as a Looney Tune screams and hollers, but to actually want to be by that person on a regular basis. See, the negative energy will, will dry them up, if you will. It, it will sap them of energy. It will be painful to live in that existence for a long period of time. And so anyone that's negative, most people run from, and we've experienced this in our world. We have someone who's yelling, who's screaming, who's negative. We don't want to be in their presence, so we run from them. Hmm. Positive people, they get the attention. Someone who's smiling all the time, it's like, man, I just feel better when I'm with them. I just, like, my whole world, like, brightens up when I'm in their presence. When I'm by their side, everything else seems to be better. That's what I mean by an attraction factor. So when your personal stress level goes down, you personally have an ease of existence and an ease of mind and able to exist with a, with a calmness about you. And you're able to attract people to your side because None of this world exists in isolation. It is all interconnected. And when you want to be a leader, when you want to, to actually engage with the world at a higher level, it takes people by your side. It takes masses of people by your side. And so you want to be that attraction factor that brings all those people to your doorstep. These are some of the reasons why we end up with more sales, and the story continues. Understand that there's, on the flip side, there's what we call learned helplessness. Learned helplessness that exists. And, and all too often it shows up with people that are negative, that have experienced negative components in their world, have experienced negative um, uh, actions, uh, negative uh, um, life experiences. They've lived through these components that have created a helplessness. Learned helplessness means that, that they believe they have no control over their outcome, over the, their destiny. They have no control over the desired objectives that they want to accomplish or that they might want to accomplish in their life. In the extreme, what happens is they learn this helplessness. They experience something that causes them to identify the world as if they have no control over its outcome, over their outcome. And then they follow suit for all other similar experiences. So once you learn to be helpless, as you experience other components in your world, you assume you have no control over those experiences either. You have no control over your own destiny. 
once you're in that space of learned helplessness, you end up with a decrease in motivation. You end up with a decrease of self-confidence and you end up with general anxiousness in your world. These are, are basically the definitions of clinical depression. So follow this. We experience something that proves to us that we have no control over the world. We then engage with the world as if we have no control, which lowers our, our increases our anxiousness, our anxiety over the world and engagement with it, lowers our motivation, lowers our self-confidence. So now we have a new experience in front of us. Do we move forward? Do we take action? Are we positive that when we take action, we're going to create a great result? No, we've learned that that's not true. Whether it is or isn't in actuality, what we've learned is that it's absolutely not true. And in learning it's not true, in learning that we have no control over our world, what would be the purpose of taking any action whatsoever? What would be the purpose of, of moving forward, of doing anything? And so once our belief system is shot, our motivation to take action, our motivation to move forward, our, our belief in, that our, in our own self-power is eliminated. And it spirals downwards so that we don't have we don't do anything, we don't take any action, and we don't believe that anything that we do has any positive outcome or result. So the opposite of that ultimate optimism is the ultimate pessimism that creates an inactivity in your life, that creates a worse scenario every single day you continue in learned helplessness that ends up in a place that serves you less and less every single day. What they found is that when people come at the world with a belief system that they have control, which is what I teach and Many of you have gone through some of my training. If you have not, absolutely grab hold. There's tons of free training going on that I'm offering up these days to really help out with all the scenarios that are going on in the world to really create a magnitude of change for all of us. My goal is to create a community where we're all positive, where we all see the, the value of the outcome. We all see that we have, we have personal power that we have personal power to change our destiny, that we can do it. Each of each individually, you can do it. You can create a change. You are your future. What you think, what you believe, what you do. You can create the magnitude of difference. So when I, I'm teaching that, and we start with understanding that we have the control, we have the power, we then can change our destiny because once we know we have control, we, when we're optimistic, we now continue to pursue a great future. We pursue a future that we're destined to have. We pursue a future that we know with consistent, persistent behavior, we're able to create with absolute belief and confidence that it'll come true. That's the power of positivity. The power of positivity. I'm going all over the place talking about a ton of stuff and it boils down to, do you have the belief that you can change your world? It doesn't have to be everybody's world. because Everyone has their own personal responsibility. But you can change your world, your universe. And when you change yours, it, it, it bleeds into the rest, of, the rest of the world, doesn't it? It's contagious. So that when I change, everyone changes. At least the people around me and then the people around them. And it's contagious. It's the butterfly wings that creates the tsunami halfway around the world. We all can change. Understand that you have the power and the control to change within you.
and, and realize you're the only one that has power over you and you're the only thing that you have power over is you. So let's get real with, I've got control. I've got control over myself, my emotions. Then I have belief that when I access that control, I can create a better future. I can create a destiny for myself. I'm in control. I have the power. When we add that positive energy to it, it creates a persistent, consistent behavior that moves us. And all the studies show it moves us to such a magnitude that in a personal level, it attracts. In a personal level, it brings greatness into your world. On a business level, I know this is hard to believe. On a business level, can you imagine? Can you imagine moving your line, moving your bottom line, 20 to 40 percent the number is about 37 and of course stats you know it some are a little bit higher some are a little bit lower only can you imagine just because you just because your team just because your sales force are happy positive believe in an optimistic outcome you will move your bottom line by, let's say, up to 37%. That's huge. The stats are, and they've done a ton of studies on this, anywhere from about 20 to 37 is what I've read. 20 to 37% movement. Can you imagine? Well, all right, now, I know. Let's just say it's only 20%. 20% increase in your bottom line over the next 12 months because you decide you're going to put a smile on your face. You decide you're going to be optimistic. You decide you have belief in your products, in your service, in your own power, and you move forward in taking that action. That's it. Wow, what a secret. <laughs> be, be optimistic. Yeah, so it's been a kept long-kept secret. New stuff for all of you, isn't it? It's funny. Sometimes it's the easiest things that transform us. Optimistic expectations is what they found when they started looking at the details. It has to do with how positive you are with the expectations of your future. How positive you are with where you believe your business, your life is going to go. When your belief is high, you will succeed at a high level. And this transcends all the studies. They've done it in multiple different industries. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. It's true across the board. So no matter what industry, you could increase your bottom line by 20 to 37%. No matter what industry you're in, you can move your own profitability, your own success, just because you decide to put a smile on your face. You decide. Some of the ways to actually make this happen and a couple simple ways and absolutely come and hang out. I'm doing a live one day called Maverick Success Live Sneak Peek. It's coming June 18th is the next one. Only we're going to be doing these ongoing regularly throughout the year. So the next one is in June. We'll probably do another one in July and another one in August. So we're going to continue this process. However, I wouldn't count on that. And what I would tell you is be here. Get the training. Get the information. The one in July is completely free. Or the one in June, I should say, is completely free. We're opening that up. So we are giving free access to everybody. Opt in. Get clear with what's going on. We're going to be bringing in some great content. And some of the explanation as to how to create this optimistic viewpoint in your life, in your world, how to create really strong belief systems, and then what are the action steps to be taking once, you're, once you know taking action is important and you're ready to do persistent, consistent behavior. What does that persistent, consistent behavior consist of? That's what the training's all about. All right, let me give you some core basics. One, affirmations. 
Say affirmations every day. Positive statements about who you are and what you want. Two is absolutely be grateful and really increase the strengthen your muscle, your gratitude muscle, if you will. Thank your, your, the higher powers. Thank your lucky stars. Thank your blessed life. And identify all the things in your world that you're grateful for. And do that every day. Same thing with affirmations. So affirmations, filling yourself with positive energy about who you are, identifying yourself with specific state, statements as to who you are. Then fill your mind with, with gratitude. Be grateful. Look for the silver lining in everything that you have in your world. Really powerful to keep you moving forward and to keep that belief system that great things will continue to come into your world. All of this also builds awareness. One of the things that people uh, identify as one of the key things that I help them do is increase their awareness about what is. Awareness about the opportunities around them. Awareness about how they show up and how they impact the results that they're getting. The awareness of, of their own thinking and what that really means in their process, on their day-to-day -day activities. All this is increasing awareness. And once you are aware, you can actually do something about it. When you're not aware, you couldn't possibly take actions to change it. So that awareness is a key step. You want to be positive. You want to have that optimistic viewpoint. And you want to create up to 37% increase in your bottom line. Let's increase your awareness around that. Understand that that has to do with your emotional intelligence, that the more you're in control of your emotions, the more you can actually um, design them to be effective. Design your emotions, your reaction to the world, your engagement with others to be highly effective, to be highly usable for what your intent is, what's your purpose and what you want to really receive from the world and what you want to give to the world. So your emotional intelligence is highly important to understand, increasing awareness around that. And how to shift, because once you're aware, you can shift. And, and so how do you increase awareness? Here's some real key points. One is just reflection. So reflecting on your day. As you reflect on experiences that you have, you increase your awareness. That's really key. Yes, indeed. This is something that keeps me from success. The belief system. It's something you gotta you gotta keep coming back. And it's where coaching and training really makes a difference. In my view, the accountability and really having someone lock arms with you that you can move forward with where they where you're hesitating to take a step that that's when your coach, your, your mentor, the people that are by your side, your community can say, take a step. It's okay. We've got you. Because what happens is that'll build your confidence. It's it's same thing. And I take a lot of how I coach from my parenting that I've done. I've got six children, three sets of twins. And so they're all now in their, uh, you know, in their late, uh, basically adulthood. And in that way, I'm able to really understand what when someone's just learning something, they they take a step, they're learning how to walk, they take a step and they fall. When they realize that they can take a step and fall and still be safe, they're willing to take another step. When they're when they're willing to take that other step, they do so, and then they realize, oh wait. I fell and I didn't get hurt, or I was able to take a second step and a third step. Wait, this kind of works. And then they get into a motion where all of a sudden they're able to take step after step after step after step after step, and they're able to run. The confidence to be able to do that started with the safety net that's around them to take the first step. That's where coaching, where communities comes in. That's so much about what happens in the Maverick community is having the support to be able to take those first steps. 
and then to take bigger and bigger steps or faster and faster steps to create a magnitude of results. Come on and hang out at the Maverick Success Live Sneak Peek and we'll talk more and more about that and how to really get involved in the community to, to participate at a high level so that you don't get lost, so that you're not alone and your emotions don't take you off track and take you out of the game. Having the belief to take those first steps, so powerful. So absolutely, uh, taking those first steps, reflection is key positiveness. Be aware that every moment, can you be positive or negative? Yes. As soon as you begin to focus in on the negativity, how do you shift that? Is the awareness that the negative negativity shows up. So creating the awareness and then actively pursuing to shift every time you're aware, oh, that's a negative thought. How could I shift that to be a positive? What would the positive thought be? to offset that negative. To fill yourself up with the affirmations really makes a difference too, so you can, you can create that positive energy ongoing. So being positive, just, just expressing that. People ask you, how are you? Don't say, fine, it's okay, or start complaining about the world. Talk about how great life is, how positive it is. One of the struggles that I personally am having is my wife and I are on a positive adventure of moving her through cancer. And most people don't talk in the way I just expressed. We're in a positive adventure. This is something that we're going to be able to write about for years to come. We're going to be able to talk about how we made it through. This is a positive adventure. Right now it's painful. Right now it hurts. Right now it really sucks and on a day-to-day -day basis we're dealing with her battle. Only when we open up the conversation about how's your wife doing, I don't say, fuck, it sucks. It just doesn't serve, it doesn't serve her, it doesn't serve me, it doesn't serve you. What serves is that the positive energy will combat everything. And knowing that we have the strength and the belief in seeing the future enables us to have the perseverance to get through today. That is what positive energy looks like every day. Stay positive. Find the funny. Uh, so many people have lost their sense of humor in the world. It's so sad. Find the funny. You want to have positive, optimistic energy. You've got to be able to laugh at the world, laugh at yourself, understand that there's funny in every scenario. Most comedy is based on dark comedy or most comedy is based on looking at the worst of, of our world and finding the silver lining or the funny in it. Strengthen that muscle within yourself. Don't take life so seriously because there's a lot of funny things that happen around us. Be willing to laugh at them. It doesn't mean to ignore them or to not change them, only be willing to laugh because there's, there is funny. And be clear that, that to, to create a change internally, oftentimes it takes involving yourself externally. One of the key components that I work with anyone who's in depression or even clinical depression is move them to the other side of the equation. Depression has everything to do with self-defeating and internalization. Basically, we, we dive into our own minds, our own lives, and, and shun the outside world, and that's a cycle of getting more and more depressed as we go more and more internal. The way to combat that is to really forcibly move yourself external, to do something for others, to be considering almost in isolation of yourself, to be considering only what is good for other people around you. Go and do great things for others. Do charitable work. Take action for other people and it'll help you get out of the negativity and into the positive energy of giving. So just some techniques and strategies on 
how to really move from the negative to the positive and create more and more energy around the, your positive intent because it will move the needle for you. It will move you to be more of an attraction factor, have less stress level, have higher intellect and ability to think and process and to create an attraction factor that transcends every aspect of your life that will move the needle for your bottom line and create more profitability in your business. All of these factors happen because you decide you're gonna be happy today. You're gonna to be positive today and you're gonna create more in the way of positive energy than negative energy in your world. Take these components, use them, come hang out more. We've got a great, great training. Maverick Success Live sneak peek. It's coming up the next one, June 18th. It's a full day virtual event. You want to be there. You do not want to miss it. Absolutely would love for you to be there to participate fully. It is uh, the Maverick community that we're building and the high level of success for everyone to create the life of their dreams. I don't say that lightly. Here's to all of you having a great life, a great day. This is Paul Fink, the Maverick Millionaire. Till next time, everyone.